This tutorial will be a refresher on how to edit title blocks and drawing titles. I went over this earlier when I showed you how to set up a sheet in order to plot your drawings. First, if we want to edit a title block, we can open an existing family by going to File, Open, Family, and we want to use elements from our library. So I'm going to go down to the title block folder and I don't have any title blocks in there right now but we should have different options for title blocks that we can then open and we always want to do a save as and save it with a new name that we can recognize say naming it for assemblages or some other project and never overwrite the existing files. Since I don't have any title blocks in that folder what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the existing title block that comes with Revit when it's installed and I'm going to do a file save as family and you notice it won't let me save it as a project because it is a family which is something you insert into a project and then I can save it wherever I want so I already have it named 24 by 36 Gregory for when I created this earlier as part of the tutorial on how to set up a sheet I will save it to my desktop and then I can make changes I can select lines and text and use my arrow key and just slowly move things over or I can delete things and I can edit elements there's some other things that are built into some of the Revit title blocks like this particular chart and if I double click on the chart it actually opens it up and I can change things like the text at the top of the chart say if I want to make things all caps because that's the industry standard This type of chart is usually used for projects, and you see that edit right there, for projects as they have different changes throughout the design process. So different options for that could be um, a schematic design set, a design development set, a bidding and pricing set, and then a construction set as well as other revisions as things have to get changed based on material shortages, client ideas, or budget issues. So typically these get pretty full in an architecture firm, but you would probably not use it as often for a studio project or for an assemblages project. So once I've made those changes, I want to load into project and close, and then it's also asking me if I want to save changes, and I definitely want to do that as well. And the nice thing is, is I can always go back and make more changes and reload it as I see things that might need to get updated. So yes, I do want to overwrite the existing version, but I also want to do it with its parameter values because there are some elements in the title block that are what I call smart text. They are labels as opposed to text. And what those are, are these pieces of text that understand the name of the sheet when we change the name of the sheet and then also have our project number and things and then puts that on every sheet when we duplicate so if we look at that we see the same information here but then there's some things that are different from sheet to sheet because in an architecture firm some folks might work on different parts of the project and you want the author and the reviewer to be two different people now if we want to change the drawing title that's a slightly different process we can also go to file open family and that would be in the annotations folder at the very end and it's called view title with sheet and that means that it has both the title of the drawing and the number of the drawing and then the sheet number as well whereas view title is what the default is when we first start so I'm going to double click on view title with sheet and because I want to make some changes I want to do another file save as family and I'm going to rename it with my last name so that I remember that this is one that I have created specifically for this project so I put my name in all caps so that it easily pops out when I need to go select it again what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the word scale here before the actual scale using the text because it's not the smart information but label is actually the smart information so if I use a label and I put some text there it then prompts me to find out what kind of label is it and those are things that I can also add in my title block if I need to add more information that's what 
is in that first default title block that we got from Revit. But since I don't need that smart text, I'm going to go with the regular text and type in the word scale. And I want to make sure it's all caps, which is industry standard, and a colon because I'm saying the scale is, and that label will then adjust it to the scale. Now obviously it's too large, so what I want to do is deselect it by hitting escape twice, click on the text and see what the size is, and in this one it's actually one eighth of an inch, so I need to change mine to be one eighth of an inch. But it was actually one quarter, so that's why it is larger. And I hit apply, and then I just want to move it in front of it, so I'm going to click the text and just move it over slightly, move the scale down, and with the text you have to use the little move icon, and it will align and then I will move the label for scale over a little bit more. So you might need to play with it a little bit just to make sure things visually look aligned and then I want to save. There's a save icon at the top or you can hit control S and then I want to load into project and close and then what I want to do is this is not the default one that Revit gave me. I showed you how to make some changes earlier. I still need to go in and edit the type and instead of just the plain view title with sheet which is what we got from the Revit folder I'm changing it to the one that I made that added the word scale. So that is how you edit families like title blocks and drawing titles to make something that is a custom project for you and gives the important information to share your ideas.